today, I'm Kati Gleason and welcome to my famous birthdays interview. When did you first go viral? You might remember me from a little video called the Princess Rap Battle, Snow White vs Elsa. Yep, that's me. I'm the baddie queen. What's your favorite part of the social media process? Brainstorming, collaborating, filming, or posting? Oh, my favorite part of the collaboration process for content creation would definitely be the filming process. Um, the brainstorming process is pretty lonely. It's just me and my head. The filming process is when I get my videographer, I get some other actors, and there's a really great energy in the room and we're actually creating the artwork. So that's my favorite part. Um, what do you find most challenging about social media in today's world? The thing that I find most challenging about social media today uh, would probably have to be just the amount of content that is online. There is so much and you can watch anything about any topic. So the, uh, the idea that you can create anything about anything and you'll probably have an audience to watch it is pretty overwhelming. <laughs> Who are your role models? Baddie women in the music industry. Let me tell you that the music industry is not easy. Not only is it difficult to write and create your own music and sing it and record it and perform it and put it out there, but anyone that puts their heart on their sleeve through music and has a really deep desire to just connect with people via music are my biggest role models. What advice would you give to your past self? I really, really love this question. I think the main piece of advice that I would give to myself is to trust my instincts, to trust myself, to take more time, to listen to all the social cues that are coming up and really trust that I know what to do. So I would say for anyone else out there, trust your gut instincts. What do you find most rewarding about what you do? I think the thing that I find most rewarding about creating entertainment content and music is the fans. Sorry, I know that's cliche, but people are the reason why I do it. It's so that I can connect with people. It's a time to celebrate creation, to celebrate life, to laugh at our misfortunes and to grow into something better. Which one of your accomplishments are you most proudest of? I got the opportunity to uh, perform at LA Pride and it was probably one of the most rewarding, wonderful, magical experiences I've ever had. And I can't wait until the world is a little more settled and we can do more live events. Where do you get inspiration from for your projects slash content? All of my inspiration comes from my life. It comes from my life, my relationships with not only myself, but with other people, romantic relationships, friendships, uh, dealing with traumatic experiences. Everything that I create is all based off of an experience that I've had or an experience that could have happened had I gone down a specific path. I have a very vivid imagination so I can make a ridiculous scenario out of the most boring circumstances. If you could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? Ooh, that could be kind of spooky. I would love to meet Michael Jackson, who is arguably the king of entertainment. I would love to meet Audrey Hepburn, I think she is one of the most talented, classiest women that has ever existed and she had the most beautiful heart. Uh, and the third person that I would love to meet, ooh, I don't know, this is just too much. Dead or alive, could they be fantasy? I would love to meet the real Eeyore. <laughs> Does the real Eeyore exist? Maybe I'll just meet a grey donkey and we'll pretend that it's Eeyore. <laughs> what are your favourite movies of all time? 
My first and foremost favouritest movie of all time is Grease, of course, an Australian in America singing, dancing, musical, hilarity, why not? I love movie musicals. I love Viva Las Vegas. I would consider Hocus Pocus to be a movie musical because Bette Midler just sings her face off. Uh, what else do I love? I can't stop watching music and lyrics right now. It is hilarious and it actually really helped me um, be inspired to continue to create with songwriting and it's really funny how you can watch an old film and get a whole lot of new lessons from it every single time you watch it. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? I have a great one. I was performing at um, an event, I think it was like a playlist event or something, it was for an app. I can't quite remember exactly, but I remember I was wearing these big white lace boots and I was stomping around the stage and singing and my heel got caught in the loop of the lace of my boots. So I was like, I was like jumping on stage. I was, I was hopping around like a kangaroo. I went back to my roots. I decided, you know what? Here's an impersonation of a kangaroo while I sing and hey, I'll throw in a rap while we're at it. It was really embarrassing. I fell over and I hurt my knee and everyone laughed and that's okay because whatever, it's funny. How do you like to spend your spare time? I have been studying how to produce music. So I've been playing with the production side of music and I'm actually finding it to be really, really fun. I'm not fantastic, but I'll get there. <laughs> and I'm really excited because I think that the the most energy an artist can put into their creation um, is going to just have a real fingerprint of me. So as much input as I can have in the production, in the writing and in all the creative, I think is really important to sort of bring my essence and my energy into the creation. Um, so I'm really enjoying learning about that. What is your biggest pet peeve? Hypocrites! I cannot stand hypocritical people. If you don't know what a hypocrite is, it's someone that like judges something or someone for doing something pretty harshly and then they go off and do it themselves. I can't stand it. Hypocrites, no. Nah. Not Hippocrates, not a hippopotamus, hypocrites. Do you have any hidden talents? Absolutely, I have a hidden talent. Do you want to know what it is? I can fit my whole fist in my mouth. Is that appropriate? I have nothing else. I have nothing else. Do you have any upcoming projects? Yes, I do. I am consistently writing and recording music. I've just been working on the cover art for a new single that I'm working on, but I'm not just working on one song, I'm working on a million. And I always have little bits of comedy content and storyline content coming out on my social media whenever I feel inspired. If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? Okay, I would go to Paris. I would eat a lot of bread. I would probably try to find vegan butter because that would be really hard. But I would try to find it and I would eat a lot of bread, drink a lot of red grapes, <laughs> red wine, and I would love to like find somewhere to perform. Like some kind of really cool acoustic spot where everyone's kind of just laid back, drinking wine, eating platters of amazing food, taking in the beautiful scenery in Paris and yeah, just singing a few little, little songs. Just being a little songbird in Paris. Why not? Let's go guys, come with me. If you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? Okay. I mean, I'll have to Dwight Schrute it and say a knife 
a big serious machete knife that has like the matches thing on it as well like just a various use knife Swiss Army knife maybe but I, I don't know we need a big machete knife right so that we can build things so that's one thing uh, the second thing I guess would have to be my dog. She's not an object, but she's my baby and I can't live without her. Uh, so the second thing would be my dog. And the third thing... Ooh. What else do we need on a desert? I guess some kind of desalination device where I could transfer my urine into healthy water or seawater into healthy water. This is all too practical, it's really not fun. Maybe just suntan lotion, let's bring that. What are your goals for the next three years? Wow, I don't know what my goal is for the next three hours. Life is crazy, that's all I have to say. I'm currently writing a song right now called California Dream, which is about how sacrificing everything and working really hard to be a well-rounded performer and working really hard and saving money and going to another country like to achieve your dreams can sometimes seem still not enough um, so I would say for the next three years I really just want to solidify myself in in music I want to immerse myself in music I want to meet fans I want to perform for fans I it's difficult to have specific plans of how it's gonna go but I want to be able to just let go and allow and not have too many expectations. So that's my plan for the next three years. Thank you for joining me for my question and answer. My name is Kati Gleason and you can follow me everywhere. TikTok, Spotify, YouTube Music, Kati Gleason Music and Kati Gleason Productions. Instagram, Kati Gleason, Snapchat, Kati Gleason. It never ends. Just Google it. You'll find it. It's easy. Thank you guys. Mwah.